packing again. Um, this time not for a fun reason. We had a um, family friend that passed away unexpectedly on Thursday. And my parents are going out to the funeral. The funeral is in Ohio. So I am packing up now. Mike and I are going to dog sit and grandma sit at uh, my mom's house the next at least two days. Uh, they left already this morning very, very early. And it's like 8 o'clock now. I told her I'd be up there around 9 so this dog isn't penned up more than four hours. And um, they're coming back probably tomorrow night or Thursday morning. So again, I'm repacking. It's like I never even put my suitcases away from the weekend. So Because I knew we would be going out sometime this week. We just didn't know when until we got home on Sunday and we saw that the services were Thursday. And Mike can't take any more time off work for that. So we're going to stay here. Um, and my grandma's house is literally six feet from my mom's house. And if you've seen my previous videos of my mom's house, she lives kind of back in the boonies a little bit in the woods. Um, there's live animals up there. They don't really get bear, but they get coyotes and stuff. And with my mom's dog. He's a big dog, and my grandma's 96 pounds, so the dog will soon outweigh the grandma. Um, so it's just a lot for her to take care of, that big dog. So, um, and this way we're up there, God forbid, something would happen with her. Because like I said, she is 81 with osteoporosis, and she breaks bones like super easy. So, I won't be leaving the house, her house, the next two days, so you will not see any makeup on. Um, and no fancy hair for the next two days. So, yeah, I'm not leaving the house, so why bother? I'm not even taking makeup with me. That's a good thing. I don't have to pack that. So, I'm just getting um, messes packed up here. I gotta pack food up because I gotta cook for Mike and I and my grandma the next two days and start taking stuff to the car. And this little meatloaf that I have in here for a dog see if he got off from under the covers yet. No. I keep telling him it's time to go potty. Hey. It's quest time to go potty. Nope. Not having it. He is not getting out of bed. What a bum. Nugget. It's time to go outside. Nope. Hey everyone. So I'm back. I'm at my mom's. I'm settled in. Got half of my stuff unpacked for the next few days. Um, in the middle of prepping for dinner right now. Some little boy is taking his afternoon nap. Are you taking your afternoon nap? Are you? Oh my goodness, we're going to stretch. And my mom's dog, Cooper, Crazy Cooper. Oh, there he is. I see him. Let's see if I can get him on camera. He's confused. He's like, where's my mommy and daddy? Why aren't they coming back? Goober. So when I said my grandma lives right next door and we've got to keep my eye on her, this is how close she is. Right there. Like six feet in between the two houses. Here comes Cooper D. Are you coming in, huh? Are you? Goofball. No, we're not going to get in the garbage. Get out of the garbage. Get. Get out of the garbage. So I'm making some cucumber and onion salad right now. So I got my cucumbers all sliced up, getting ready to do an onion. I got to make my dressing. And this is how spoiled these dogs are. This is a whole chicken that I had to roast for the dogs for the next two days because they get a whole chicken all to themselves. You think I'm bad with spoiling my dogs? My mom and my grandma are ten times worse than I am. They get ground sirloin from market. They get whole chickens. My grandma had already, when I had my beagles several years ago, and she would wash them and we'd go away, she already bought, has already bought them a whole roast beef, like a big hunk of roast beef, and roasted it just for them. My grandma weighs 96 pounds. She barely eats. She would cook an entire roast just for my dogs. They're spoiled. They were. My beagles were. And these two definitely are here. So, that's all I'm doing right now. I got my crab cake stuff mixed up in the refrigerator. So all I gotta do is form my crab cakes. We're having some french fries and then the cucumber salad and that'll be dinner tonight. And I guess probably we'll just, it's supposed to cool down a little bit later. So we'll probably hang out outside on the porch later because the dogs like to hang out outside. So, I'll be back. 
So when you live here in the boonies with a super long driveway, you have to have a golf cart to get around and take your garbage out. <laughs> you can't keep it running. Oh my lord. <laughs> Here he comes. What is that? Do you see its eyes? If that's what they are. What the heck? I don't like being in the woods. There's creepy shit here. Yeah, mosquitoes are buzzing my ears. Already. Are you ready? <clears throat> Where are we going now? Garage? Yeah. Whoa. Look at Cooper waiting for us behind the car. Oh, what happened to Foot? There he is. He's on the sidewalk up there. on the porch. Well, good morning and happy Wednesday. Um, it's like, uh, well, this was a bad night. I got no sleep. These two, these two, spoiled, rotten. Like, Oh my god. Thank god I only had to spend one right here tonight, but I gotta come back in October and spend three nights here. This thing here is a complete bed hog. He's not disciplined, so all night long he wants to lick your face. He wants to lick himself. He lays on you instead of in his own space. And then he's like, Dead weight, I can't move him. I Mike and I didn't even get to sleep together. Mike slept upstairs in the loft room by himself in bed. And I had to sleep down in my mom's bed because it's a king size, and I was still struggling for space between him and my fat little guy, which I don't know where he, he went. He's wandering around here somewhere now. And, well, they can't decide if they want to go in or out. They stand here. They want out. I open the door. They don't go out. They just want to sniff the air. Oh, my God. Oh, my nerves. That's okay. I'm going home tonight. So again, nothing happening here today, just dogs sitting and grandma sitting. My grandma went to work. Yes, my grandma is 81 and yes, my grandma still works. She's a crazy woman. Um, so my mom and stepdad should be home tonight. So if they're home in time for dinner, I did buy plenty of food to feed them. So I'm going to grill some chicken tonight and make baked potatoes at Quill on the Cob. But last night in the middle of dinner, my mom's stove quit. Well, the oven quit just completely stopped, stopped working. It threw an error code on the digital part of the stove. My husband had to go down and shut it off by the breaker because it went into like a super high broil mode and wouldn't shut off. Like you couldn't turn the thing off. It just was locked and it said locked right on the, the screen. So I have no oven in here. Thankfully my grandma is six feet away. She has a stove and oven in her place. Plus my mom has another full kitchen in the basement. So I could lug stuff up and down the steps if I wanted. So, yeah, it's always some drama around here. Always. It's always drama. But that's okay. It keeps life interesting. We don't get bored. All right, I need a shower. Okay, so I was just upstairs getting a shower, and I had made the bed and everything um, before I got in the shower. Here's the spare bathroom. I don't think I showed you guys this before when I showed you my mom's house. Well, there's me. Hey, didn't curl my hair yet. Um... And then this is the loft area, which my mom has paperwork project everywhere right now. Like, such a disaster she's got up here. My suitcase. 
down there. There's my little pumpkin on the couch. There he is. Anyway, this is what I find when I get out of the shower. Now, this bed was made nice, but someone decided he was going to throw pillow shams around and throw pillows on the floor. And now he's sitting here whining. Are you whiny? Why you gotta be so whiny? Why are you whining? I know you want mommy and daddy to come home. They're coming home tonight. Yes. Yes. Couple hours yet. Yes. All right. So I just took some cut up chicken out of the packs, and I'm just gonna let it sit out here and marinate for a little while. All I have on it is a bottle of generic brand Zesty Italian salad dressing. So easy enough. Um, this will be done on the grill later. But for right now, it's just going to sit here and hang out. Good morning, everyone, and happy Thursday. Um, we are back home, uh, at least for the next eight nights. We are home again. Um, so I'm up at, of course, 3.20, making my kids breakfast. And if you follow us on Facebook, because um, I don't know if I recorded this or not in the video from Kentucky, but we ate this stuff in Kentucky called Geta. And um, it's a regional dish. It's a meat product. And that's what I'm making for Mike this morning. It's going to be similar to Scrapple or mush, if you're familiar with that. Again, people outside the United States probably don't have a clue as to what I'm talking about. Um, but this is what it is. I'm frying it up now. It is pork, and then they add oats to it, like a, a coarse cut oat, pin oats I think they're called, and um, some pork broth, and it's formed into this. This is what it looks like. I mean, it's it's cooked, but yet it's not. You know what I mean? The pork is cooked because it's cooked off the hog, um, but then everything's mixed together, and it looks like this when it's formed. You buy it like this in a loaf, and you can also buy it in patties, and we actually brought some home from Kentucky with us. So that is what I'm frying up for Mike this morning for breakfast with some scrambled eggs. Um, it's very good. It tastes just like you're eating a crispy pork chop for breakfast. Um, but if the way it's different from scrapple is this is very coarse, where scrapple, you don't use oats, you use cornmeal, so it tends to be a little more, like, gritty. Um, and mealy. Is that, is that a word? Mealy? But, yeah, since it's cornmeal, it's mealy. Um, but I'm not a fan of scrapple, but I tried this in Kentucky and loved it. So we asked the person at the restaurant where to buy it. She told us what brand to get, where to buy it. They have festivals celebrating this stuff down there. So, yes, we brought some home and that's going to be part of Mike's breakfast this morning. Hello again and happy Thursday again. Just waiting on my tea water to boil. And today is Costco day and rumor day for this little man. He needs to get his toenails clipped and his ears cleaned and he's going to come home and get a bath. Yes, and I don't know what else we'll get into. My house has not been cleaned real good in a while. Not that it's disgusting, but it could use a cleaning. So this is a holiday weekend coming up, Friday through Monday. It's Labor Day weekend here in the States. I don't know if they celebrate that everywhere or not. I really don't. But um, we were not ones to usually go away on the holiday weekend unless it would just be to my dad's place in the mountains. Um, I just don't like the amount of traffic um, that's on the roads and the crowds of people, especially going to the beach. The beach is the, probably the most popular place that people go here in the Northeast on the holiday weekend. This is the last official weekend of summer, not if you look at the calendar, but um, Traditionally, when I was a kid, school didn't go back in session until after Labor Day, so it, that's why it was always called the last official weekend of the summer. Now kids go back to school mid-August, um, but it's still like one last hurrah with having um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday off for the majority of people, 
So again, we are not going anywhere. Mike's actually working Saturday and Monday. Um, so we only have one day off this weekend. So I know he wants to put the new mud flaps on the new car. Um, and he'll probably wash it. But I don't know what we'll get into. It's probably going to be a low-key weekend. This is the last weekend the pool is open where we live. So um, hopefully we will get to the pool. However, they are calling for... Um, we have, I don't know if it's a tropical storm or a depression or what it is, but we have a storm system going to hit us supposedly sometime this weekend, which is kind of odd for Pennsylvania. We're not coastal, um, but every once in a while we will get the effect of, um, of, a, of a hurricane or a tropical storm, and we're supposed to get that, I think, late Saturday into Monday. This weekend could be a total washout. So today is not the best so far. I mean, it's pretty, it rained last night. Um, rained overnight again, it rained yesterday evening, and it looks like the clouds may be trying to clear out, but according to the forecast, it's just supposed to stay cloudy all day. So it's a day to go run some errands, again, the groomer and Tosco, and that's probably it, and then hopefully get some work done. So I'll bring you along. Hey, I'm back. So it's time for my Costco haul. So here's what I got. Well, not that, but he's just so cute, I gotta capture him on film. Yes, you're special. Yes, you are. Okay, enough of him. I got a 40-pack of spring water, which we do not drink this around the house normally. I keep a Brita pitcher in my fridge, and I've explained this in previous hauls, because I don't like to use these water bottles. They say, even with recycling them, the amount of water bottles that we are going through in this world is insane. So I only use these, like, when we're traveling. So, again, I was I was down to... Uh, I think less than 10 downstairs, so I picked up a 40-pack. I got another bag of my baby gold and red skin potatoes. These things are so stinking good. I love them. I got a floor runner for the kitchen. And that's going to go... Excuse my laundry basket because I'm doing laundry. That's going to go right in here. This kitchen is not air conditioned or heated at all. The closest register that I have is right here. So when I'm cooking, I run this fan and blow it into the kitchen to at least get some of the air conditioned air into the kitchen. Um, but in the winter, we moved in here in February, and of course it was still freezing here then. These floors are like ice cold because there's no heat in here, and below this floor is our garage, which is not heated. So, again, these floors in the winter are freezing, and I'm always in my bare feet. I never wear shoes unless I have to. So I bought a floor runner, and it's six foot long. It was only $9.97 at Costco. Like, seriously, that's going to be $25 at least at Walmart. So I couldn't pass that up. So I got six dozen of eggs. I got a treat. Dark chocolate sea salt. Um like little candies. It says a crunchy, salty, sweet caramel pretzel treat. I tried these at my girlfriend's house last week when they were when we were swimming, and then one girl literally said they're better than sex. So we've nicknamed them sex candy. I don't quite agree with that, but I'll still call them sex candy because they are really awesome. But they're very rich, like one, and you don't want any more for a little bit. I got two chickens. I got some dishwasher packs, a bag of organic tortilla chips, um, big pack, six individual packages of boneless and skinless chicken legs and thighs. Now, I have never in my life seen a boneless, skinless chicken leg. It was like when I saw those, I had to buy them just because I want to see how in the heck what you're left with after you take the skin off and pull the bone out of a chicken leg. <sighs> That's not the only reason I bought them, but I am really curious. Um, I got some smoked chicken sausage, three different flavors, habanero pepper jack cheese, Italian with mozzarella and mango. I got American cheese for my puppy since that's his favorite snack. Two loaves of Dave's bread, which is the 21 grain and seed organic bread. The love of my life, Costco bacon. A 12 pack of Naked Juices, Mike takes these in his lunch. A big old bag of reduced fat Cape Cod potato chips. A pack of ahi tuna, that's three steaks in there, so that'll be three meals for Mike because I don't eat it. Which, when you look at the price, $25, um, 
that, that's three meals. So that's like eight dollars and thirty cents a meal. That's like super super cheap for that quality of of seafood. They had sets of kitchen towels that just got in, and these will match my kitchen. And it wasn't something that I had to have because I do have kitchen towels. But you know how it is, they eventually wear out, and I do have some that are getting really, really thin that I could probably turn into rags at this point. And these were ten ninety seven, I think. Either ten ninety seven or eleven ninety seven, one of the two, for ten towels, which again is super cheap. And they're not thin and like cheap. They're they're a good quality. Got some avocados, six of them in a bag. Big old bag of romaine hearts four pounds of butter, some kettle corn, and veggie straws that Mike takes in his lunch. So that's it. I got all of that, which was quite a bit of meat when you look at the fish, the bacon, the whole chickens, these chickens, um, 15 sausages, plus all the other stuff. My total bill at Costco was two eighteen seventy five. so I don't think that's bad considering the amount of meat I got. Um, so, yeah. I guess that's it. It's time to take this doll to the groomer. <laughs> Someone isn't a happy boy. Someone isn't a happy boy, is he? But you're going to smell so good. You got your nails clipped. You got clean ears. Now you're going to have clean body. Isn't that wonderful? Are you mad? Are you mad? You won't even look at me. Oh my God, he's mad. Here it is. The little baby. And all clean and mad. Clean and mad, aren't ya? Poor little boy. <laughs> well, that's it for the night. I'm gonna call it quits. The boy is fast. All the Costco stuff has been broken down and frozen and individual containers. And um, I'm just done. I'm tired. I'm done. I'm quitting for the night. So I'm going to upload this video, and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.